The 130th anniversary edition of Liège Bastille New Liège was the 108th in total. Plenty of riders looking to take one of the most prestigious races in the whole of professional cycling. La Doyenne, the old lady of the classics, 257.1 kilometers, leaving the city of Liège, heading out through Bastogne and coming back over a series of punishing climbs. Four and a half thousand meters of climbing in total. The likes of La Redoute and Rochefoucauld, some of the most famous in world cycling. A start and finish at the same line. Took 45 Ks for the breakaway to be formed. 11 riders were soon whittled down as we hit the final few climbs. A maximum gap of six and a half minutes. A hungry peloton behind and then a very nasty crash with 60 Ks to go, conditioning the rest of the race. Julien Alaphilippe was one of the big victims. So worried his opponents were about him that Romain Bardet, his compatriot, decided to go and check on his health before even thinking of getting back on the bike. Bahrain victorious by this point were still racing. Alaphilippe's abandonment meant that Evenepoel would be the clear leader. That in quick step alpha vinyl colours. The meanwhile, Thomas, Valverde and the rest coming back to the peloton. The breakaway with 43 k's to go had two and a half minutes. Six riders left at this stage and in the final 45 kilometers, Bahrain victorious kicked off the attacks through Mikel Landa. A few riders following, no huge names yet. Landa the biggest to go on the attack so early. A former winner in Wout Pools then tried his luck. Damiano Caruso also had a go. Bahrain were active. 30 k's to go and La Redoute, one of the race's iconic climbs. Bruno Almirail was the man to go over the top. The last survivor of the breakaway riding really well. Near the top of the climb, this moment. Remco Evenepoel, 22 years of age, off the wheel of young Mari von Sevenot and with an aggressive, explosive attack that nobody else could follow. Nilsson Paulus could for a little while, but he couldn't stand the heat, and behind they'd have to worry about trying to chase the young Belgian star. Evenepoel was on debut in Liège, and soon started to pick off one by one those who were left in the break. Then he gets to Bruno Amirail with 21.5 kilometers to go. The gap at this point, almost 40 seconds. Amirai managed to sit on for a while as behind they tried to chase coming up to the final climb, La Roche au Foucault. It was on that last climb that the elastic snapped in front. Evenepoel still seated as he rode away on the double digit gradients. There's a little bit of waiting, perhaps too much behind. And Evenepoel's gap was not coming down. Halfway up it, he still had well over 30 seconds. Dylan Turns was the man to put in an attack. But Evenepoel's gap, although coming down to 18 seconds, would be allowed to grow again through his strong riding and through the tactical games played behind. Alexander Vlasov took advantage of a lull in proceedings in the chase. He'd attack with eight and a half Ks to go. Evenepoel knew he'd done it with three Ks remaining. His gap well over half a minute, barring incident or accident. He was riding away to a memorable victory. Absolute box office stuff from Remco Evenepoel, who saved quick step half a vinyl spring. Evenepoel arriving, Belgium going bananas. Evenepoel, a monument man at the age of 22. Only the second Belgian to win the century and the first since Gilbert in 2011. And funnily enough, it will be an all-Belgian podium. Quinton Hermans getting back on the chase group for a monument podium with Wout van Aert finishing third. Delightful of Fevre, Peters and the rest in quick step who have suffered in this spring. Evenepoel victorious. He won by 48 seconds from Hermons and Van Aert, with Martinez and Iguita making it two Colombians in the top five. On his goodbye appearance, Alejandro Valverde could not equal Eddie Merckx with five wins, but he still finished seventh.
A Belgian 1-2-3 with young Remco Evenepoel at the top. The youngest Belgian rider since the 1960s to win La Doyenne and the youngest Belgian monument winner since the late 1980s. Evenepoel will be compared to the very greats. He's a lot to achieve in terms of the numbers in the other races before he gets there. This, though, you get the feeling is the biggest moment in his career to date.